What up, YouTube? It's Jay Millionaire. Um, I haven't done a video in a long ass time, so just got some kicks that I actually didn't put on um, on review. I had some more too, but I sold them off, and some other stuff happened. So just doing some stuff I haven't actually done. So first one, a lot of people's grails, including mine. Um, and I don't know if you could tell by what they look like, but they are bred ones. These aren't the 94s that I did the review on before. Check that out. Um, they're dead stock. These are used, but still pretty good condition for being 85s since these are OG ones. As you can see, pretty damn good condition. If you know anything about OG ones, uh, they're basically all leather. Well, any ones, they, they basically can last forever like tanks, but yeah, these are all pretty good damn leather. Upper pretty thick as made for basketball leather basically only thing about the ones that you have to look for is the collar on these it's not 100% perfect but it is still pretty good just like the 94s there is no TM on the Air Jordan because these are OGs these are actually embossed as you can see it's a little a little imprinted with the Air Jordan which is pretty unique to me. Uh, the Nike swoosh on this one is bigger than the retros or any of the retro Jordans. It's super huge. And this is actually leather. The 94s is a suede and continuously I think it ends up being a different material. Uh, the Chicago ones, the OG ones, are leather too. But then I believe every other Chicago after that is leather. But the 94s is, um, is a suede, but this is a leather. As you can see, these are worn, but you can just tell how the full grain of the leather, it's actually really good quality for being, what, 85? So it's like 30 years. The stitching's still on point. Yeah, it's got creases, but that's normal. But besides that, and I don't really, I got other shoes, and I don't really, really take care of my shoes. I just wear them and put them in the box. I used to be all about cleaning them and everything, but who cares? They're just shoes. But, um... As you can see, the the shape on the the OG ones is a little bit more circular, or kind of oval compared to the 94s, which is you know kind of more pronounced as a shoe. But these are like obviously the first ones, so they did a little different. There's more holes in these compared to the 94s or even the newer retros, but like I said, the material on this is just on point. It's just beautiful. One thing I love about the OGs and the 94s, and then they did it on the 2001s as well, and then they start just start bringing it back, is the Nike Air. The stitching on this is super ancient compared to the newer ones. The newer ones look look better, but I just like the vintage look of these. On these, the rear is all white, white mesh, and these are actually made in Republic of Korea. Which is unique and I like the style where the tag actually flips over the top which is pretty cool to me. The production code on these mofos, size 10, that's what I rock, 850709 and TY1. I read another video or I watched another video where they were saying uh, certain codes have better, I guess, shelf life for the, the ankle collar and this is one of them. It's, you could tell it's a little, it's a little, you know, it's not 100% like it was, but it's still pretty nice compared. And, and I rock them all the time. Like, literally, I, I rocked these yesterday. That's why I got them on this thing, because I don't want to put them on my table. But, yeah, man, um, one thing about the OGs in the back, the tab is really small compared to the 94. It's a little bit wider. And then the newer retros is super wide. That's one thing you'll be able to tell. But, again, the, the leather on this mofo is just super legit. It's real leather. There's some scuffs and some nicks on these, but that kind of gives a character in my opinion. One thing you can tell just by looking at them on OGs, the back, as you see from the side, it sticks out where other ones, it's straight down. And that's one thing you can notice. On the bottom of these, it's just like all the other ones. Um, one thing that is different, the material or the pattern in here is a little bit more rough. I don't know if you can see that as it picks it up on the camera but it's a little more rough compared to the newer models. And like I said, I, well, I wore these a lot, so it is some wear on the bottom, but whatever, shoes are made for you Um But yeah, man, uh, 
1985 OG bread ones. Still pretty damn good condition in my opinion. I'm not even going to clean them. I don't really care that much. And to me, it looks a little more vintage that way. I'll rock them. I'll probably end up rocking them today. And these will probably last forever. I'm hoping on it. They're already 30 years older than a lot of people out there. So let me know what you think. Subscribe, rate, comment, and show some love. All right. OG1. Peace.